Rebecca, surprise move by the Premier. How unusual is this? Well, it's certainly a big decision. As you say, we have been having these annual briefings by the Premier every single year since 1993. Um, and one reason why it's such a shock is that for people in China, it's really the only opportunity they get each year to see China's number two in a more sort of unscripted, candid and human light. And it's worth saying that's in part because of how previous uh, Premiers have used this as an opportunity. So Li Keqiang, who's the predecessor for the current Premier Li Tiang. He used to joke with reporters. He used to joke about his own strong uh, Anhui provincial uh, comment and accent. And he also once triggered this nationwide debate about poverty. So it really was this chance to speak directly to people. And I think cancelling the briefing is an important signal about you know, how Xi Jinping intends to proceed with his third term, it eliminating this, this opportunity, this one channel to speak directly about policy making decisions, as well as also quite significantly diminishing the importance of that role of the Premier within China itself, too. So what will investors be watching for, Rebecca? Well, the one really big item is going to be the GDP target. That is the big thing that investors watch every year. A consensus is that we will see it somewhere around 5%. But the thing that investors will be looking for is the type of language uh, around that 5% target. Just how hard, just how convincing are they? Are they going to, policymakers going to say, we absolutely will make this at all costs? Or might they be a little bit looser around their language? And of course, anything that comes below 5% is going to be a disappointment for the market. So what are the expectations for fiscal stimulus? Well, with provided that we have that 5% target, that is going to be tougher to reach than it was last year because last year we were coming off that low base. China was rebounding and we were reopening. Um, and so the expectation is that to get to that kind of level this year, we would have to see fiscal stimulus enforced more swiftly and also enforced more forcefully. Uh, particularly, we would also be watching quite closely for any other kind of support for the property market, which continues to be, of course, a real drag on the Chinese economy.